No, Johnny's Johnny will be a couple of weeks, um, which is disappointing. Again, we sort of like picking up, you know, some injuries at the moment, which is uh, is not good for us. But you have to get on with it. What's, what's that leave your thoughts of, of, at left back? Does Pocanoni come into your thinking, or yeah, there's you know we've got options to to move things around, and that's what we'll have to do. Obviously, Johnny won't be fit. Chris has played Brunty. You know, we've played a left winger there really all season, and, and Brunty's done brilliant. We've been really pleased with Brunty at left back. Um, so to lose Brunty and then you know Johnny as well um, leaves you a little bit bare. But you know we're no different to any other Premier League club. You get these spells. You know, you get these spells where you pick injuries up, and unfortunately for us, it's uh, you know it's it's come at a busy time. Um, but yeah, have to get on with it. Brunton Morrison, are they any closer? Well, they, every day that goes past, they become closer. But how close? We're, we're still not sure. Morrison's more of a long term. Um, Brunty, you know, maybe ten days, two weeks, and I, I don't know. Maybe next week. You know, if it, if he improves enough, you know, we might be able to get him a little bit for the. For the cup game, if not, then we'd we'll definitely be looking for him for the Everton game. Do you think you're still in a relegation battle? You're eight points clear of it. Now. I, I think everybody in the bottom 12 will be scrapping for their lives to get the points as quickly as they possibly can. We're no different to anybody else. There was a bit of booing at the end of the game, and I wonder if that disappointed you. Just dealt with that. Have you? Yeah, with well, Fletch. Can... You take, no, you, 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 there's a little bit of booing. 99.9% uh, of the supporters are absolutely delighted we scored late. They showed um, their appreciation. But you'll get one or two boos and you have to accept. Rob, you have it's to It's frustrating it. though. You've just scored an injury no, to I, I, You work very it, hard. It, you know, some people get frustrated with it. Some people accept. I've been in the game a long time and I understand <clears> the way it works and how it works. And, you know, if they, you know, if people want to boo, and brilliant. But... What happens is you get one or two people booing and then that everybody gets tarnished with the fact that the supporters were booing and the supporters weren't booing. The supporters stuck with us right through the end. If you watch the last 10 minutes of that game, the amount of support we got or the players got from our from our fans was absolutely fantastic. You know, I've been at clubs and I've been at grounds where you know, they'd have torn up the bits. The supporters here didn't. Yeah, there was a small group who moaned at the end or booed at the end. <laughs> Majority of them stuck with the players, and they need to do that all the way. Especially now, we're picking up some injuries, and we're getting some, you know, some knocks. And you know, we know it's going to be, uh, you know, tough running. There's a lot of chances against against Swansea, and I, and I spoke to you on the night, and you said you were frustrated that you, you didn't win. Well, the, the, game the, the frustrating night, thing was that the, the chances that we create, we're not even hitting the target. And that's most probably the disappointing thing. You know, I think we we went through three or four times, and um, you know, we've missed ta we've missed the target without hitting the target. You're never going to score, which is pretty obvious. But their keeper made two wonderful saves as well. Absolutely top, top draw saves. So, you know, we had a night where their goalkeeper really performed very, very well. The way Swansea play, they play very open. And um, they make it uh, an open game. Whoever plays against them, you know, you have to do that. And you have to realise and recognise that you might concede a few chances. But if you do it the right way, you'll, you'll you know make chances yourselves and what you've got to do we've you've got to take the chances and again it was another night where we, we a bit like Peterborough, Peterborough the Peterborough game should have been over in the first 20 minutes we just didn't take the chances and that's what we've got to do Does that show how much you need a fit motivated firing Sido Berahino because he is a natural goal scorer Well I think you've got to accept that this football club has been without you know one of the best goal scorers in the Premiership all season and uh, you know you take that away from any any you take Vardy out of Leicester and see what Leicester where Leicester would have been, so you know it's been a big miss for this football club. Um, but Sido's you know he's the window's closed he's still with us, um, so you know we've got to now make sure that he gets his head down. Um, we've got to work hard on on his fitness, um, and we've got to get him back into the fold as quickly as possible. Since that window has closed, have you noticed him switch his mind back on? Because he knows he's going to be here. Have you seen a change in his attitude in training and round about the place? Yeah, he wants to play desperately. <laughs> no, he wants to be involved, and you know, that, like I say, we're desperate to get him involved, Rob. And um, you know, all the all the shenanigans now would have eased off the kid, and uh, hopefully, you know, he can see a path through to the end of the season. And um, I think that's the big thing with Sido. I think if there's a path there that he can see through um, and focus his mind. You know, then then he's a different kid. If there's all different obstacles in his way, he gets very confused and very, um, or guess he gets mislaid and misled and everything else runs through his mind. So, 
hopefully that path is clear now. He can see that he has to perform and has to play well and has to help this football club who pay him good wages um, you know, to, to stay in the Premiership and get as many points as we can. It's Newcastle on Saturday. They, of course, tried to sign him. Though. We, we, we understand there was a bid for him pretty clearly. That could motivate him, couldn't it? Could that give him an extra bit of motivation? You understood there was a meeting between the chairman and Seidel last week and you got that massively Is that not Well, no, we're told that's happening in the next couple of weeks. Is that oh, not happening? It, oh, no, you said it was happening last week. Really? Yeah, you did. Um, but and it's not, you know, it's not happening. And we were told the fact that Newcastle have made an offer. Do you really know they made an offer? We do on that one, actually. Yeah, <laughs> honest, we do. Go honest. Well, you speak to the chairman on that. Yeah, but I, I, look, I, all right. Will you have any input? I mean, look, we're told he is going to meet with the chairman. Are you, are you going to? Are you going to have any input on that at all? You know, he says, she says. You know, until the chairman tells me that he's had a meeting with Sido, then I don't care what anybody says. You know, the, 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 you know, it's got to come from the horse's mouth. From as I've said, you know, you, you, I've been in this game a long time, and he says, she says, and this happens and that happens. It's all speculation. And you know, again, um, the most important thing this football club does is, you know, look at the team and the club as a whole, um, and try and get the results that we need to stay in the Premiership. Are you surprised to see Newcastle in the bottom three? This is a very competitive league. You know, irrespective of what you know. The, 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 whether you're Newcastle, Sunderland or whoever, Aston Villa, West Brom, yeah, it takes no prisoners. If you're not doing it, if you're not winning games, you'll be down there. And that's what's happened. And that's you know, what uh, you know, everybody in the league is concerned about and worried about is that it turns so quickly and you have to be spot on every week to get results, irrespective of who you play. Newcastle is a fantastic club. Um, and you know they've spent a lot of money, hell of a lot of money, and um, you know they'll be, you know they'll be on the right go the last you know quarter of the season, and we expect a very very tough game. Obviously we're disappointed, but we're missing now three or four of our top players, um, but we'll go there and we'll give it our best shot. Thanks, folks.